All new tonight at 6, 75 years ago, a dream of the Jewish people became a reality. Israel gained its independence. Now Israelis and people of the Jewish faith are celebrating around the world, including right here in South Florida, of course, one of the biggest Jewish communities in the U.S. CBS News Miami's Jacqueline Quinn takes us out to Lone Depot Park. The crowd inside of this stadium on Marlins Way is celebrating a different win. 75 years ago, Israel declared its independence. Most of my family is there, and like a lot is here too. A love of two countries coming together under one retractable roof. Mia's mom is Dalit Paz. I've been living here since I'm six years old. I'm Israeli. I came straight to uh, Florida, but I have the strongest connection with Israel. Paz's parents came to America in search of more opportunity. Their line of business? Hospitality. So Miami was a natural fit. She tries to visit Israel every year. I've been there when there was terrorist attacks. I've been there when, you know, when there was tough times. There's always tough times. Israel is such a small country, surrounded by so many people that, you know, really uh, just want to hurt us. It's something she thinks about often, but on Israel's birthday, her mind is on resilience. Every Jewish person realizes that Israel was created for a reason. It was created because of the persecution coming out of the Second World War, coming out of the Holocaust. We needed a safe space. In partnership with the Israeli consulate, Tila Falik Levi and her group, the South Florida Zionists, put on this event. This is the group's third year following a break after COVID. And the idea is really to have that bond Instead of trying to fight and combat anti-Semitism and hate, it's about tolerance, it's about coexistence, and we really wanted to bring that through music and through celebration. There's an estimated 6,500 students in these bleachers for this year's event. And they came from 22 different schools. And not only did the music get the house rocking, but there were speakers and educational trivia. 75 years is not uh, so long, but it's a place that we know is just growing. You know, people try to push us down, but we always come out stronger. Israel is not so much a place for pause, she tells us. It is a feeling of belonging. I love that everyone loves Israel, like everyone celebrates it. And that's why Paz is so happy to see her daughter and other young people come together to mark the day Israel became a nation. At Lone Depot Park, I'm Jacqueline Quinn, CBS News, Miami.